think what kind of style might give them some difficulty and you think it'd be a team with tremendous size or with terrific athletes who can really take you off the dribble and that is not what Green Bay is so this is a good first round matchup. Well, what them. position is South Florida in right now as a six seed with the luxury of hosting here? They're in a great spot. Uh, I mean they are a team that I think the the thing with South Florida is the times that most of the country has seen them this year were the three times they played Connecticut. And so your evaluation of them and how good you think they are as a team is like, well, they got beat by this many points. And they got, then they got beat by this many points. This is a very good team. I know you've had a chance to cover them this year. I think they're in a good spot to play at home. I think they have a, a great shot to make the Sweet 16. Yeah, so do I. This is a good South Florida team. In the American Championship game in the second half, they scored 47 points against Connecticut. And this is a Connecticut team that had its starters in that was working and trying to defend. This is a South Florida team that can score. Uh, Courtney Williams is tremendous off the dribble. Alicia Jenkins inside is a is a really difficult matchup for most post players because she can take you off the dribble. Taylor from the outside can hit the three-point shot. South Florida is good, and it'll be fun to see if they can make some noise because they've really flown under the radar for much of this season. And that was the closest game UConn's been in all season long, 14 points. Uh, I know UConn uh, kind of struggles with the idea of who they play inside the conference, but South Florida comes in already tested, battle-tested against, of course, the number one team in the country here. Uh, who's going to make a run? We, we asked the ladies here. They picked a couple teams, and 